Straight away, I see Lucky there saying, go back to bed, Jake. It's half past seven in the morning. The day's half done. In any case, the RimWorld Addiction is kicking back in in full flow. I can't believe it's been three days since I last played it, which is three days too long. So, we carry on. We're doing pretty well right now. Brute Queen is... Da, 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 there we go. She's a Baroness, and it's just one more rank up until she becomes Countess. And when we have a Countess, we can finally do Royal Visitor and bring in the Stellark. Remember, the goal here is to turn the Stellark into a piece of human fashion. So, that's what we're going to be going towards. And there is a quest that will help us out with that, Poor Little Chip. I'm not going to take it just yet, but I will want to take it at some point. Uh, we're going to eat raids every day for five days. There are at least eight scythers. Uh, but we have people that can die for us for that. There's no point endangering my team, although I may still have to go out there and fight them because it's going to be going on for so long. We'll get that happening. We have our allies. We have... Well, we have an ally. Inly is still on our side. We had to butter them up after uh, stealing some of their people. And we managed to ally the Orange Dominion, so I wonder... I would actually like to try calling them in, see what they're made of for that. Otherwise, we're permanently falling out with Arena Sovereign Union. I'm thinking that I'll appeal to the tribe, because the fact that they send a lot of people means that could be a lot of human leather that drops in whenever we need them. You know, for a Scyther attack, for example. But we need to work on the drugs so that we can sell things off to make some friends. That's the way I see it. Is there anything that needs to be done? Actually, I was looking at the save whilst paused for almost an hour last night, and I made a quick list of ideas. One is something I've been ignoring about Brute Queen's throne room. Uh, part of her undignified throne room, and I swear this used to be a bigger malice, uh, is that she needs a grand throne, and she still has a the same crummy... Sandstone? I thought we had a wooden one. In any case, she's got a sandstone throne, and she needs something better. She needs a grand throne. We have the gold to make it for sure, but we need something else for it. Uh, no, wrong one. Here we go. I don't really have the steel to make one out of steel, although it's probably the cheapest thing to get for it. And making it out of blocks takes way too long. If we win it out of granite, it would be 4,003 work to make, whereas if we make it out of steel, it's only 667. A remarkable improvement. So we will get Brute Queen her proper throne, I dare say. In fact, so that I don't forget about it, I'll just thunk it down. I trust this is something that could be moved around once placed. Just in case it can't. I'll put it there. Ah, and it straight away shows this new mod that I've put in yet again. Quality Builder ensures that only the best uh, builders are assigned to something. And you can also make sure they go for a certain uh, level of it. So if you set it to excellent, if it comes out as not excellent, they'll just break it down and uh, make it again. Anyway, I don't care how good it is, so any quality will do, but it doesn't need to be made by the best builder. Well, maybe it's better that it is. Yeah, it'll get it done faster, amongst other things, so I'm keen to see how that works out. What else is on my list? Uh, right, Ooglu. I'm just trying to remember why I brought you in in the first place. You're great at construction, otherwise you're just a soldier, right? Things don't often or always need constructed and I don't really want to invest you in these other things. The fact that you're super immune, uh, immune and a brawler is nice. But what I'm getting at, Ooglu, is that your days of being relevant might be coming to an end soon. I think I will have you construct if that's a task. If not, I want you to haul and when all the hauling jobs are done, just clean. It's actually tempting to have cleaning above hauling. Yeah, because we need this place kept spick and spam, and I want you to be the one that takes care of that. I'm sick of the filth piling up, and I don't want to micro it all the time, so you are the cleaner. Something else I saw, and I haven't tested this, but uh, previously I said Franconian's going to die, because he's old, he still eats loads. We have a younger, more virile bull to uh, mate with all the cows, so I think his time is up. Yeah, 16 years old is a good age to be put down, in general. Uh, but then I was reading this. They're exceptionally gentle creatures that will never seek revenge no matter how many times they are harmed. 
Well then, I have a bit of an idea for you. I think I'm going to uninstall this wooden bed and make a new area here. All right, I need to actually uh, create the area. Whoop. New area. Franco's home. And Franco's home is going to be our former prison cell here. And I am not a monster, right? I'm going to set a critical importance place for hay. Only refill it when it's empty. And I guess it would be nice to have a bit of a lamp in there now. So let's build a wee lamp. And that will be Franco's new home. So when we go to Franco, we say, go to Franco's home. And then he ups and goes. What a champion. Remove the temp Hoover area. Uh, Hoover was the beaver that came to us. Where's temp Hoover? It's a shame that I can't pan whenever they have one of these up, because it can be useful to check. Yeah, temp Hoover is gone now. But cleaning is still useful. Dogs... Do I even use dogs anymore? Isn't dogs something from the old uh, colony? Maybe, maybe not. Either way it goes. But stay indoors is still useful for when we get attacked and can't go out. And Franco's home is a nice new small area. Alright, so that's Franco moved around. What else do I have? Uh, right. I was looking across the new things that I haven't been playing around with and one is right here. The half cylinder. A signal redirector isolates half the brain, allowing the other half to sleep whilst the user remains outwardly awake. So it, remo it reduces consciousness, but stops someone from needing to sleep. That I want to try out. We're going to make one. Costs a lot of our components, and I have been burning through those because I needed to make a new eye and a couple new legs, and I think a new arm. But I want to, you know, it's just sitting around taking up space otherwise. And there was one other thing I wanted to test. And that's for Pineda here. Uh, impressive prison cell is a four. What if... What if... It had another sleeping spot there. Does it stop being a nice cell? Yeah, it drops down to barrack. I'm wondering if it's worth pre-stocking this with beds. Because if I suddenly have a lot of people that I need to house here, it's going to suck to have to build beds. I can give them sleeping spots. Mm, I'm unsure. It's only a two, uh, two happiness hit, so I think I'll put it in. You know, if they weren't a tortured artist, they'd be pretty happy here, so I guess I'll just go with that. Builder's probably one of the worst people to have that on. Manipulation penalty is horrible for builders. Perhaps, but I'm not giving it to a builder. I'm giving it to somebody far more suiting for that implant. I like the name Clerk, because it tells me he should be working all the time. Uh, Clerk is a hard worker, so his global work speed is still more powerful than the 15% consciousness hit. And fast learner means I want you working on everything all the time because it's as if everything is at uh, passion interested. I think. I don't know if that's additive or multiplicative. I'll just assume it's additive. As for jealousy, well, we've already dealt with that. We've given you a better room than Brute Queen herself for now. When Brute Queen gets her fine floor upgrade eventually, that'll probably change. What do I still have this blueprint hanging around for? Get rid of that. Oh, Ooglu's up and on the go already, chowing down that meal. Now, I noticed that Brute Queen had eight without a table, and I can't imagine why. Five seats here. At most, we could have some people playing chess and playing poker, and then there'd only be two seats, so I don't understand why you would ever have to eat without a meal, unless you were busy elsewhere. Regardless, I'm going to set down another table here so that we can have more uh, more seating and eating space. Uh, 
So IFT Clerk's gonna get on that half cylinder. I think it's multiplicative, I have no basis for that besides how it feels, says SS. Okay. Well, we have our fast learner working away at crafting right now. Do they learn... well, passion puts it at 100, so regardless if it's additive or multiplicative, it's now 175%. What would be good is, let's say, he mines next to someone else that's mining. How much faster does he get it? I don't know, the wiki is short on these kinds of uh, intricate details. It's cycler, not cylinder, says Bubblegum. I think you'll find life is a mo lot more enjoyable if you choose what you read. Certainly does for me. I don't like Franco sleeping on the hay, but if I don't just sign in for that, he won't be able to eat it, so so be it. So it's not refrigerated hay, but that's fine. Um, it's never going to be there for more than 45 days. Now, once IFT is done with that, and preferably has it installed, I want to go and test this out with, uh, with Franconi and the bull. But Franconian needs something else down there. He needs a bed. Because, as I say and say often, I'm not a monster. So let's build a new cloth animal bed right there. Oh my, oh my, oh my. That wooden chair is a masterwork from Ooglu. And Brute Queen is throwing a party in her own room. Well, that's nice. And a bulk caravan's arriving. I could do with some steel, but I don't know what they would buy from me. Gathering steel to haul to inventory, but where is there? Oh, right, there's still steel here. And there's still more work to be done when it comes to mining out steel. In fact, we're so short on steel that I need to go and find places that have some and zone it out for mining. There were some good ones nearby still, as I recall. My recollection may be a bit hazy, though. It often is. And it's always so dark in the game that I can seldom see properly. All right, mine that out. Hopefully none of it is... Uh, well, even if the roof collapses in on us, we've got space there to cover it. And who's our go-to miner again? Why, that would be TBW. Skill 11 and skill 8 are both fine for not uh, losing out on yield, so I'll take it. What a nice party. I feel like it's a bit of a waste of time though, because I need my people to actually be working. But if it's a good party, everybody gets a, uh, a nice bonus from it, unless they're a psychopath. Okay, this has taken way too long. At least all the talking works for building up social as well though, and anyone below 10 has a ways to go on that. Oh, it lasts for 10 days and is 8. So a party is so much better than a... Uh, than a speech. Blooming speech. We've only had Brute Queen ever give encouraging speeches. Never had uninspiring or terrible, but uh, just all looks bad. Say no to speeches. Wow, we're failing to recruit McGee here. I do want him. I've got a liver. A fresh new liver waiting for him. I won't replace his leg, though. And I would like somebody else who's good with intellect and crafting. Sanguine is great. Annoying voice is not. There we go. Oogaloo's busy cleaning up the place. And Pineda now has no resistance, so we're just going to have no interaction there other than feeding them. I have no need to. Hall Plus and Clean Plus are amazing. Mods, I assume. I, the cleaning is an issue that I wanted to solve with the limited tools that are available to you in vanilla. Hold on, there's just dirt under that? No, it's a granite flagstone. just looks dirty. Because it is. It's filthy. 
Hey, Brute, where you at? I know you want to consume that, but I'd like to speak to these bulk traders and get ourselves some bulky steel. Now, there's something else that I noticed. We have an active one for that large monument, and we have to protect it for a very long time. But if we don't protect it, 24 man-hunting grizzly bears will arrive. That is so much meat and so much bear fur that I've got to do it. But I've got a long time to do it. All I have to do is demolish something here. And tell all my animals to be indoors, probably. Okay, it's quite a few things you'd take away from me. You'd give me some stallions, but what am I interested in? Yeah, the value of kibble isn't too terrible, and we can always make tons of it. Uh, I always like to sell off my milk, even though it's good for kibble, because the value of milk is higher than even that of meat. 42 doesn't seem like a lot of Nutramain, but we have loads of medicine and I shouldn't need any more for a while. I want... Oh, they don't have advanced components. Well, where's your steel? That's what I really want. I want all the steel you have for me, Sunshine. What else you got? I have a gorillion dusters, but I'll probably sell the, uh, send those off to the tribes so that they'll be my new friends. Otherwise, I'm not sure they have anything that really appeals to me. I'm not going to sell my poor statue. Those can always be used. What exactly is kibble? It's uh, vegetable matter or plant matter plus meat or animal products. It's, um, it's dried dog food. Lasts forever, don't you know? Okay, I can't see any clothes that we have that we've worn or really a lot to do with anything here. If I just make this trade... We get a whole bunch of steel. Enough for that new throne that needs to be built. By Ooglu. And they're hauling the steel from the good place, go figure. They have alpacas. So something I noticed when I was comparing uh, information is that sheep are terrible. They grow wool as fast as alpacas, but you only get half as much. We have an imperial trader here, again with the alpacas. Also, alpacas are pack animals, sheep are not. So just alpacas are better in almost every way. They're slightly more wild, but eh, is what I say to that. Did you look at wool stats? How do they compare? I believe uh, sheep wool and alpaca wool is the same, same value. Almost identical uh, armor and insulation factors. Good heavens, it's getting filthy in here. Ooglu! Uh, they're still hauling steel over to the new Grand Throne. The whole open area below the base is walled off. This is all walled off, yes. We have wood and granite here, and wood and granite here. I'd like to replace the wood with more granite down the line. All in due time. Uh, come on, IFT, that's almost done. Chow down your disgusting gludge and get back to work so that you can work forever. Yeah, kibble is something I keep a lot of because it's an easy way to feed my dogs without having them chew through all the meat in the storage area. The meat isn't so vital anymore. For most of this run, we've just been eating meat synthesized into nutrient paste, but now that we have decent farmlands, uh, we can grow tons of corn. This is one load of corn that we grew on just this. Otherwise, we use this area for hay. This I'd like to replace with hydroponics, but we lack the steel, so it just grows hops. And here, we just grow drugs or heel root or whatever is needed. Once we grow all the smoke leaf, I want um, what do I want? I don't know. Psychoid leaves, probably. Alright, welcome McGee. Straight away you're on the edge because you're naked, slept in the cold, no table. Yeah, thank god you're sanguine. Um, get up, get yourself dressed. And then I'm going to replace that liver of yours. Because that faulty liver gives you so many problems. So what does he choose to wear? 
Also, who's going to be McGee? If you want to be on this uh, on this colony, make yourself known. He's not good with shooting or with melee, so I don't know what he'll what he'll take. But we'll let whoever becomes this person choose. I think seven is the absolute limit. Yeah, which means if somebody dies, we're not going to replace them here. All right. Who are you going to be? I think we're going to call you Yan, because Yan says they have a loud voice, which is often annoying. So Yan, what weapon would you like? You suck at melee and shooting, and we have the ability to make you something if you want something other than what we have right now. Oh god, right, we didn't restrict you. I need to change that. Not tatty. Fight, 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 paste, be happy. So stop and rethink about what you're doing. Right, takes off his tatty clothes, I think. Wait, what? I have a tiny shred of rhino leather. How about peaceful for no weapon? You are terrible. Welcome to the welcome aboard, Howie. Peaceful is not a state of mind I'm gonna tolerate around here. All right, where's TBW right now? Is he still mining? He is still mining. In that case, eat your food, and then it's time for your... Where do we install that new uh, liver in you? Install liver. And there's the liver. No, that's the, uh, that's the other thing. All right, clerk. For you, we're going to install the half cylinder. And then before TBW goes to sleep, he's going to do both these operations. <clears throat> Shouldn't he be anesthetized first? Doesn't matter. It'll automatically do it for the uh, operation. So, Howie, what weapon would you like for your new character? Oh right, we had some extra huskies and I decided to keep them. Couldn't think of a good reason not to. Are you going to steal that? No, oh, okay, I thought you were going to steal the prisoner's food. Which would amuse me greatly, don't get me wrong. And this is your new temporary accommodation. So we'll set owner here for Howie. How is it temporary? I don't know. How will I get you a proper place to stay down the line? Well, we'll figure it out. Once you're done with that, you go and rest until healed. As for TBW, they want to rest? No, I don't think so. Um, there's little reason not to give these guys the Glitter World medicine if I'm going to be doing uh, very important surgery on both of them. I mean, otherwise, what's even the point of having it around? Here it is, health overview. Glitter World and Glitter World. So I would like TBW to operate on you, please. As for Brute, if you could uh, trade with these guys, please. You yeah, can just drop the steel there. Someone will get it. It's okay. Now, thanks to his bionic leg, TBW is actually 12% faster. It's just that that snow really slows us down moving around out there. Battleship Howie wants an incendiary launcher. I need to just sell that thing so it stops being an option. We're not going to use stupid weapons here. Charge rifle good, however, is extremely tempting. It's a lot of work to make, so by buying it we save ourselves a lot of, uh, a lot of work. Hey, they'll buy our smoke leaf leaves. That means I don't, uh, I'm not forced to make loads of, uh, of rollies just to sell off. Even though they sell for a lot better, they are work to make. 
I want to do all of them though. What else can I sell off? Ooh, I want an advanced component, so we're back up to four. Four is useful for making just about anything. Get rid of these incendiary shells, just having them is a bad bit of temptation. Otherwise, I suppose I could sell off dusters if they'll take them. No, they're imperial, they'll only take good stuff. So I could give them the ruffle shirt and the corset and the royal robe and the lady's hat, and they'll take gold as well. Might have to sell this uh, crappy sculpture just to get what I want here. I don't want to have to sell it though. Oh, everyone takes a few beers. There we go, good for that charge rifle. Now, on the note of that charge rifle, I want to change out people's weaponry a bit. Um, I'm thinking I'm actually going to make Clerk a shooter, because we are so short on shooters right now. If you wouldn't mind hauling that before going in, please. TBW's getting to work. Oh, that's right, I don't keep the Glitter World medicine here. I should probably fix that. Let's make ourselves a tiny little shelf so that it can hold it better than having it over there. I don't like people doing the back and forth. How he wants the charge. I got that charge rifle for not you. I need to stop bringing in volatile people to the uh, to the crew here. It's as bizarre as Bubblegum choosing the minigun despite being a careful shooter. I think minigun ignores accuracy, it just does what it wants to do. Remove the, imper uh, the inferior throne. Wow, this was done faster than expected. We should just uninstall that. There's Brute Queen's new throne, but she still thinks it's too undignified. So, Howie, you immediately had yourself a beer. You're a recovering alcoholic, you know. But you don't have your awful liver right now. IFT, however, you also need to be worked upon. Bet TBW really wishes he was asleep right now. Yeah, rest is... Well, that's okay. You got a bionic eye and a bionic leg. Those don't need rest. And just do the operation while sitting on Howie's face. <laughs> such is what I get for having such a close-knit hospital. <clears throat> Are you sure you want a club, Howie? I mean, you can just look at the weapons list on the wiki. We can make anything. Well, almost anything. I don't think I could make one of those massive charge rifles. Excellent, there we go. Both the uh, surgeries done without fault. Now at 3 in the morning, TBW can go to bed. And hopefully tomorrow I can sort out a bunch of things in the base. these things move to the side a bit and then we can move this thing up a bit. This room, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 tiles wide. So it's pretty hard to split into thirds like this. Hmm. Remember to change them back to regular medicine after the surgery. Excellent point. Wouldn't want to waste all that glitter world on you guys. We already used, yeah, four of our nine. We only got five left. But now, IFT needs no sleep. Needs no sleep. So you work all, all day, every day. 
Well, anything, but I don't want you sleeping. I wonder if that means there'll be a downside to removing your bedroom. I guess I can still... Hmm. What I could do is set this owner to be clerks, and then Howie enjoys clerk's old room. Clerk is jealous, so he'll hate not having an amazing bedroom. But he won't have a bedroom at all. Hmm, I wonder how that'll work. You didn't immediately... Okay, there we go. Jealousy sits, uh, sets in, even whilst he's unconscious. Alright, fair enough. You keep your good room, but you never use it. Alternatively, I also set Howie to be here. And then hopefully a uh, sharing bed. I have to share a bed with someone I don't particularly want to. Uh, I don't think I'm able to cheese my way out of this one. Alright, Howie keeps the crappy hospital bed then. Hopefully someone dies and you get yourself a proper bedroom. Okay, Howie wants a war hammer, if we can. Well, actually we can, because uh, IFT Clerk's about to lose their one, so you're going to get yourself a nice steel war hammer. Congrats, Jake. They don't get a bonus from nice bedroom or from being in a comfy bed. That's okay, they won't need it. With all the extra work they're doing, they can just keep themselves drugged up. Besides, they're happy for a long time thanks to being rescued. Okay, hot. I want you back on melee. We've had you off of melee for far too long. I don't really have a melee weapon for you, though. But we should definitely give that sniper rifle to someone who's a much better shot. I'm thinking I'm just going to give it to Bubblegum, despite the fact that Bubblegum didn't want it. Minigun is just wasted on him. Or her? Him. So, ditch that sniper rifle. And where are you, Bubblegum? Go and equip that sniper rifle. As for you, Hot, well, I need a weapon for you now, and I think I'm going to make you a mace. I like maces as weapons. I prefer not to have too many stabby things. That's what we have other people with. So we shall make a mace, and we're going to make it out of plasteel. Because we have quite a bit of plasteel. I want... Uh, you need to have ten or more uh, skill to make this, please, and just dump it on the floor when you're done. We don't have a lot of shooters, so I want our shooters to be the best shooters. And then I'm left thinking who I'm going to give the minigun to. Should be someone who sucks at all combat. TBW likes his sword. Howie has already decided to take, uh, take something else. IFT Clerk would actually be a Mm, he's going to learn fast, and I'd rather he learnt. Hmm, what would I rather he learnt? Well, whilst I'm considering that, I'm going to make an auto pistol for him, because I think it's the fastest firing weapon in the game. Again, somebody who's good at it, please. And just dump it on the floor. The dogs will take care of it. Uranium is great, true, but we have no uranium. I don't even think someone's come to trade uranium with us. How he looks a bit groggy from the anesthetic, but that'll wear off soon. And IFT Clerk, once he has his delicious nutrient paste meal, will be getting to work permanently. <laughs> Making those shirts that we, uh, we lost out on. He'll make it out of anything, which is good, because we lack everything. Ooglu's still hauling. And cleaning. Good. So it's just good to stay on top of the cleaning. This place can be a bit dirty, but when it starts mounting up like it did before, it just... You have to assign everybody to take care of it. 
We've had the same minigun from the start. We bought this minigun very early on. It was bunnies, then it was brelixes, and it's been bubblegums. Alright, see that auto pistol, clerk? That is your new weapon. Equip it. As for the plasteel maces, I actually want a few of them. I want all of our gunners to have a backup mace. They're not very heavy, and in a melee situation it can be good. And the reason I like plasteel is because although it has lower DPS than something like uranium, um, or even jade, it does have a faster rate of hitting. So I'd rather be the one that can hit faster, potentially stun and get more hits in. Jake, will you be doing any EU4 today? Uh, I will be casting the Dev Clash today, but I won't be playing it myself. I'll be playing it myself tomorrow. Right, Howie's got the Warhammer over there. So once you're done with your current thing, I'll have you equip it. Okay, now I'd rather you did the work whilst you're already over there. Ah, there's some silver ore. I do like silver. Gotta up that uh, wealth with nothing to show for it. Good, Ooglu. The filth will never stop, so keep on cleaning it up. We also should put this crappy sculpture somewhere. I'm thinking right here, so that Howie's crappy room is even better. Yeah, anybody that's resting up in the hospital deserves good stuff. So this will become an important place for Glitter World Medicine. So that we don't have to keep going back and forth here for work. Hey, the mace came out good. Alright, Hot, once you're done with that robe, I wish for you to equip that mace. Velus Slezar is showing their worrying desires by saying, can someone please link me the clip where Jake lost a bet and had to dance in a kilt? It's not just a clip, there's a video of it on YouTube. If you're going to lose a bet, you own that. Oh my. How he's gone all confused thanks to the, uh, the anesthetic. At least it was just Howie and not Clerk. Clerk is currently enjoying a shooting frenzy, which is all the better to have that pistol with. Which means I should probably sort out what Clerk does. Uh, I would actually like you to learn how to hunt, so we can get your shooting skill up as fast as we can. Otherwise it's still good that you do this other stuff. Which means I'm going to temporarily take Brute Queen off of hunting. And... Let's see, this is revenge chance, right? Where's that buck? Hey, the buck is close by. I'm actually going to have you hunt the buck and the doe with that auto pistol of yours. Because I don't imagine you'll get a lot of hits in, and it should train up your shooting quite quickly. Ah, look at that. Alright, please hunt that buck as well. <laughs> Good job. There's a lot of things I want IFT Clerk to learn to do, and being able to shoot better is one of them. We don't need to hunt for a long time, so I don't mind taking Brute Queen off of it. But there's a, there's a lot I need to train up IFT for. That combination of, uh, of traits makes them pretty super... Jealous isn't good, but these two are. And the passions are in, uh, well, it's in crafting and intellectual. Both of that is really good. Jake has broken me. I can't stop hearing Howie. I mean, how else is it meant to be said? It's H-O-W-E. Howie. I didn't make your name. But I may break your name. 
All right, a normal mace should be for somebody who switches out. And you, you switch out. Unless there's somebody else on there. Pick it up, always carry that on you. It's only 1.25 kilos, and it's a good thing for gunners to switch to. Which means IFT clerk should have one as well. Howie, once they're done being confused and cold out there, can... Uh... Oh good, they're no longer confused. They can eat a meal and then equip that warhammer. There's only one E in the end for Howie, Jake. Howie has an I in it. Sure, if you let yourself be constrained by convention, I guess you could see that. Nice, with Ooglu cleaning up all the time, it's only slightly dirty in here. Bit of a waste of Ooglu's skills, but, you know, they're there to construct and melee. Alright, I'm hoping... Well, I would hope that this goes down with the fewer things missing, but that lack of fine flooring really bites hard. Tonk. Brute Queen and Bubblegum chatted about practicing with sickles. I suppose they're both the snipers, so they have a lot of things in common now. Who's even using that pulse rifle I bought? Nobody, and it's good. Also, it's a charge rifle, not a pulse rifle. Um, three shot bursts. Everyone is bad at shooting other than Brute. So the question is, who's going to get that? I guess Hot isn't terrible at shooting, so maybe Hot should equip that gun but keep the maces back up. Sounds good for me. Or rather good for Hot. Oh right, please do. Uh, it's too heavy to carry. Because you're hauling all that steel. Just dump the steel and pick that up. And then haul that steel. Nice actually having steel now. A thousand of it. Someday I'll get my hydroponics, but there's always stuff you need steel for. Oh boy, you're up early, says Antarion. It's 8.17 in the morning. The day's two-thirds gone. There we go. Now we almost have a balanced setup of shooters and non-shooters. Oh, how cute IFT is stargazing. Might be cute, but it is wrong. That squirrel's too far away for you to hunt. Now, IFT should always have work to do. There will always be drugs for them to manufacture, items for them to make. Smoke leaf joint, so we have the smoke leaf, that's for sure. Ah, wrong one. There we go. Cooking should go up from doing the smoke leaves, and I don't think that uh, requires any amount of... Oh, right. Any worker, no matter the skill. Don't know why I had those on minimum. It was probably as an early way to uh, ensure that only certain people do it. Wart as well. Good. Stargazing at minus 18. Oh, you've been putting the moves on Brute twice, and you failed both times. Well, at least you're recreationally highly satisfied. But you're also going to smoke a joint. Really? Is that actually... No, you're going to make a smoke leaf joint. That's also good. Now, doing that ups cooking, if I'm not mistaken. By a lot. Holy moly, making that bunch just gave you about 600. That's fast learner for you. Cargo pods nearby, nothing but simple meals. It's okay though, simple meals we get and others do not. Yeah, dang. You're going to level up in cooking just from making a couple bunch of rollies. IFT and Ooglu shared views on life. 
they have similar uh, places in life. They're both now trapped in what they have to do. Ooglu must always clean, and IFT must always do real work. That said, you don't seem to be cleaning here. Did I not assign this as a cleaning area? Zone cleaning. Yeah, you should be cleaning there, but you're not, Ooglu. What's wrong with you? So quit playing your horseshoes and start cleaning this place up. Bubblegum's getting real good at crafting. A civil servant from Inly is passing by. But why? Jealousy and bloodlust. Oh, a venom talon on his finger. Scratch an enemy while squirting venom into the wound. That's cool and all, but uh, I'd have to fall out within, uh, within Leah if I was going to do that. Bloody gluttons, starving away. Get up and get eating. Wait, you're actually malnourished from that. This is why I can't stand gluttons. Okay, IFT, there's something I need to test out. It's dangerous, of course, but go and do it anyway. Now, it told us that the animals will never fight back. Let's put that to the test. I'm going to have you drop your auto pistol and attack Franco. Wait, they do attack back? Melee attacking IFT clerk. Why? Why would you lie to me, game? They're exceptionally gentle creatures that will never seek revenge. Oh, maybe revenge is different from just uh, attacking. You trained it to attack, Jake. Nope, it's tame. Alright, well, mistakes are made. Get away from it. Thunk. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Hmm. You're not meant to punch them to death, they won't retaliate to gunfire. Well, mistakes have been made here and now. It's just a bruise, you'll be fine. Eh, yeah, finish your meal first. There's things to be done. Alternatively, is it... Is it just running away now? Can we not attack it anymore and be fine? Okay. Well, IFT did learn a bit about melee there. But that's not how I planned for that to go at all. As I'm sure you can tell, my brilliant plan was to keep Franconi in there and keep beating him up. But it doesn't work that way, it seems. The game has conned me with its lies. Alright, well, get rid of that stockpile then. And reinstall this elsewhere. Might be able to trap an untamed one indoors. Mm, I wonder about that. I think it's better just to get a prisoner who, ha who is incapable of violence. I have to. You're not allowed to rest from that. Equip that pistol. <laughs> Beat you in the torso horribly. It's just a bruise, man. I'm not spending good medicine on uh, attending to that bruise. Uh, no, no, no. He doesn't need any tending that badly. Oh, I'm holding caps lock instead of shift. Brute, you go take care of him. It's as good as you'll get. Now get up. Jake, have you removed the area for the bull? I don't really have to, but it's going to take up space if I don't. Well, that was a wonderful idea. It just didn't work at all. And now I'm severely disappointed. Harumph. Let's 
Good to see IFT Clerk learning so much about cooking, though. They could probably do amazing with plants as well. Ah, but that crafting is where it's at. Once you're done making all the drugs, I want you to craft. Hard drugs are good as well, though. I think they teach intellect. Speaking of, I should really rebuild my high-tech research bench. I'm not drowning in good places to put it, but... There should be fine, right? I'm sure it's going to bother some people that it's off center. Ah, so what I can do here, for example, I don't need quality builder, but I do want this thing to be at least good. Another mace, an excellent mace is made. Mm hmm, brute, you don't have a backup melee weapon, do you? You're not bad at melee, and I should certainly keep one on you. So once you're done hauling that, please... Uh, okay, I can't even tell you to equip it until you drop that stuff, because it's too heavy. Thunk, and thunk, and thunk. And you do too much of that hauling stuff. Uh, ooh, there's a poor one. Not interested in a poor one. We should definitely smelt all weapons, which are poor. Uh, limited radius here, I don't need to run away, run around all the map, but anything that's awful to poor, just destroy. And then we'll get some of that plast steel back. In fact, I can test that right now, if you were on crafting. You're on crafting, right? I want to see this done. Boy, it takes a while to smelt things. And always just drop it on the floor. We have dogs to haul things around. It was only eight steel as well. Hardly worth the time spent uh, smelting it. But I'm more interested in what I get uh, in terms of plast steel. 13 plast steel back. Bad. Very bad. This colony really bounced back after the whole insect invasion fiasco. Not really sure about bouncing back, given that we abandoned the old colony. It went so badly there. Just moved down river, which is a bad thing. You should move up river, because then you control the quality of the wa uh, water for everybody downstream. So if they get uppity, you can just ravage it. Okay, so you've actually learnt too much in terms of cooking so far. I should suspend this once you've done the next one, or the next batch, and see what you get up to. Of course you still need to eat. Okay, so it actually kills your moving, talking, eating, all of that, but you have a lot more time to do everything, so it's no biggie. The lack of moving is a pain, but... Shouldn't be a lot you have to do anyway. A lot of movement going on in here. What's even happening here? I guess it's a uh, it's a place a lot of people move through. Sure loves playing them horseshoes, does Howie? Oh, TBW's uncle is on the way now. Ah, oh, there's not a lot of them. There's only six. Uh, they bring fire. Why do they always bring fire? That said, I don't see any reason to fight them myself, so why don't we get the crummy trooper squad to deal with it? With a bit of luck, some of these guys will get downed as well. Why are they not? Oh my god, they're friendly, aren't they? No, no, the arenas are... Uh our enemies, so they should go for it. Are you sure it's just one group? As sure as I can't be, I just saw the second group. Well, crumbs. More fire and grenades. Harumph. 
Oh well, those guys will go and deal with those guys, and then I guess we can deal with these. It's high time we actually lifted our own finger. Are they fighting immediately? Oh no, they're gonna use sappers. Hmm. 